Hearns. Ron Goodall, FightHeight.com. I'm here with my boy, Eddie Hearn, the great promoter. It's been a while since I had a nice little one-on-one with you. So I'm just going to go straight into it. Um, your good friend, Leonard L.A.B. Um, I guess I would say it. I, I asked him about his opinions or his thoughts about you thinking that the Fedora Amazon PVC card would do about 10,000, 15,000. Is that accurate? What what you oh, no, thought? I, I mean, you know, as I understand it, less than twenty thousand. But who knows? I mean, you know, a lot of people reported that uh, Haney Pro graded sixty thousand. Incorrect, but I don't know. I mean, I would say, you know, I think he said, oh, they did a they did a show that lost millions of dollars. We didn't lose any money from that fight. Actually, it was actually quite a success. Um, what I can tell you is that Haney Pro grade did between four and five times more. Than Zoo against Fondora, oh, so wow. in that respect, it was quite successful. But by the way, Zoo Fondora was a great show. Mm-hmm. So you know, it's not. Oh, Eddie said this, and I, I congratulate. It just wasn't a pay per view. Mm-hmm. That's all. So, and and you would have seen that. Um, and it's going to take a lot of work. Look, how long did Leonard Ellaby abuse the zone about being an app? Yeah. Being like an like I mean, number one, Leonard Ellaby. His friend, Mr. Heyman, his next show is on the zone. Canelo against Mungia. Right? They actually need that platform. Right? Number two, as media reports suggest, PBC representatives had conversations to try and get on the zone. Who knows? Also, tell me what major fight coming up around the world that has already been scheduled in the next three, four, five, six, seven months is not on the zone. Major fight. Like, like for example, the Canelo Mungia. Right? On the zone. Haney Garcia, on the zone. Joshua against Ngannou, on the zone. Fury against Usyk, on the zone. Bivo against Betabiev, on the zone. Catra against Taylor, on the zone. Uh, Bam against Estrada, on the zone. Matias against Para on the zone. This week. So, can we just finally admit that the zone is actually the home of boxing? Forget if you've got a moan about, I don't know, how you find this show or the price of the money. Well, everyone's always going to moan about those things. But let's just say the zone is the home of boxing. So, the original, I mean, who wants to fight on an app? It was Devin's, uh, sorry, Leonard's favourite favorite line. The answer is all your fighters, because they also fight on an app now. And they also fight on the zone, you know. But I don't actually know what Leonard's role is in all this stuff. I mean, he's, is he still CEO of Mayweather Promotions? From from my understanding. Yeah, I don't know what they do. And I don't know what fighters they are. I mean, they had, they, they had Richardson Hitchens. Yeah, they did. He's going well. So, um, but there's, this, there's always this sort of, like... I have no problem with Leonard. I actually think he's. I think all these people are great for boxing. Mm-hmm. But obviously, you guys asked me what he said. You know, but yeah. when he says something, I don't get offended. Like, and start wanting to like. I just respond. But when I say something, he loses his mind. Do you know what I mean? So, Cynthia Conte just reminded me that not a lot of people like me over here in America. Not like, like, the so, promo- yeah. like the yeah, promoters. Yeah, right? yeah. Like you see that with you know like Haney Garcia, like all this kind of, like. Why is that? Probably a few things. I mean, obviously, I'm outspoken. I like to give you guys good content. I like to speak my mind. I'm from the UK. So, like, if an American promoter, and they've never, well, they, PBC tried years ago, tried to break into my market, probably get my back up as well, you know. But, um, I don't know. I think that in boxing, what I've learned is, is that some people will put ego to the side to do business some people won't like the reality is is that pbc and al Heyman really don't want to do business with anyone like they don't want to match their fighters with any other stable i think we've established that um aram i could burn down bob aram's house and he would do a deal with me an hour later like he's a different kind of animal do you know what i mean yeah but i can't you know, I mean, I have a great relationship with Louis de Cubas. I think he's a very smart guy. We do a lot of business together. But I just, I've never been able to even have a conversation with doing a fight with PBC. 
which is weird really because like now that they don't have any shows other than a handful of pay-per-view shows on Amazon they should we should be actually doing like that those share platform events where I could get all the, like we could do massive fights where I could get their fighters out you know we could do it on Amazon we could do it on design I mean you see in Mungir and, and uh, it's a great example you know like yeah. that works you have to remember that just because you have a big platform it doesn't mean that people are going to buy a pay-per-view sure. like with the zone they have millions of subscribers over a period of time right who have been subscribers of the zone and some come some go some come some go but what you have is you have a captive boxing audience so who are going to do more buys for Canelo against Munguia the zone or Amazon it's the zone because they've been consistently doing Canelo fights over the years. Fight fans know where to find Canelo Alvarez. Do you know how to go to Amazon and, and go through that process of, it's just not, if you're a fight fan, where are you gonna watch it, you know? And um, I think we're in a great position. Um, I'm really excited about the schedule, really excited for Saturday night, I think it's a really good good card, smaller card for us, but um, yeah, boxing boxing's just a weird, do you think it get you think it gets a little personal to the point where like have you even had a conversation with Al like on the phone? Like, I've met Al a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. Is he nice? Yeah, seems yeah. like Al's, Al's lovely when he wants something. Yeah. yeah, the first time I met Al, he was we were trying to make Chavez against Froch. Okay. And he really wanted that fight. And he was very nice to me. The next time I met Al, we were trying to make Wilder against Joshua. And it wasn't <laughs> the greatest uh, negotiation. But um, he is a very smart guy. I'd certainly never underestimate him. People just do business in different ways. You know, we sometimes we get criticism about looking at P and Ls and balance sheets. When I do a show, I want it to financially be secure. I don't want to roll the dice where I could lose four or five million. Yeah. And then, like, you know, I've not never had to go out and seek investment or a, you know a fund of money to go and attack a market. We do it with my money and the company's money that we've built over 40 years. Why? Why does Leonard? Because Leonard said like just you know quoting that essentially you burn money like you're not very aware of the u.s market and so I because think when we came in to the u.s no one knew who design was we had to spend money to invest sometimes say waste money but sometimes we spent the wrong money on the wrong fights no question about that you know i mean you have to remember i was coming into the u.s people knew me from the uk but I'm sitting down with fighters, explaining to them why they should invest their career with me on an app that you've never heard of, right? I remember sitting down with Mikey Garcia seven years ago, as one of the first fighters I ever sat down with, trying to convince him that DAZN was gonna be the global home of boxing. And he was like, what's an app? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I mean, this is like, so, and no one wanted us in. So everybody was making sure that we didn't get in, but we got in. Mm -hmm. And we promoted six Canelo Alvarez fights. You know, we we broke the record at Dallas Cowboys for Canelo against Saunders. You know, we, we've done massive fights. We did Taylor Serrano selling out MSG, Joshua Ruiz selling out MSG, Bam against, uh, you know, sorry, Chocolatito against Estrada, two and three. Like, we've done huge shows. We did Canelo in Guadalajara. Like, we're doing really well. Mm -hmm. But we definitely made mistakes in a builder and overpaid fighters because we had to. Because every time we made big offers, our rivals would step up. I expected, when I had that budget from the, from the zone initially, that the others wouldn't step up financially, and they did. Top Rank, PBC, they all started matching us. And and if you're, and Al is very good at convincing fighters to stay, regardless of the activity, regardless that there's more money on the table, he's outstanding at convincing fighters to stay. And he did that really well, you know, and it was hard for a while. And um, it was only really over the course of time where people kind of went, oh, they're still here. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're doing well. Oh, they've got Canelo, oh, you know, they've signed Canelo. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah, boxing's a weird business.